Aromatic hydrocarbons are derived from a benzene ring, a six carbon ring with a single hydrogen attached to each carbon. Its unique properties puts it into a class of its own. Originally derived from plants and characterized by intense aromas, the aromatic hydrocarbon is unusually stable for a compound with a low hydrogen to carbon ratio. Some theories centered around the notion that benzene was a resonance hybrid of two structures. You've seen this before in Chemistry 20 when a compound exists in nature as one of two or more states and that its chemical properties is based on a combination of these states. X-ray diffraction techniques have shown chemists that this is not the case. The bond lengths between carbons are all the same, shorter than a single bond yet longer than a double bond. A model that satisfies this shows the even distribution of six unbonded valence electrons around the entire molecule. The line structural formula that represents this newer theory is shown as a cyclohexane with a circle inside to represent the extra half bond strength between each carbon atom caused by those unbonded valence electrons. The root name is simply benzene. This is going to require some memorization, but carbon numbering starts with the highest priority group. If there is an OH or hydroxyl and an NH2 or amine group off the benzene ring, then carbon number one is at the hydroxyl group. And the other carbons are numbered so that the amine group has the lowest possible number. Numbering continues in the direction of the nearest group. If the alkyl group has more than six carbons, then the benzene ring becomes the side group and is called the phenyl group. What is the name of this structure? Eight carbons on the longest chain and no double or triple bonds, so it's an eight carbon alkane, or octane. The phenyl group is at the third carbon, and so it's a three phenyl octane. Hydrocarbon derivatives. Organic compounds are classified according to their functional groups, an arrangement of atoms responsible for the physical and chemical behavior of the compound. Alkene and alkyne functional groups are, respectively, double bonded and triple bonded carbon atoms. Hydrocarbon derivatives contain functional groups that also include non-carbon and non-hydrogen atoms, like oxygen and the halides. In this course, you will only be asked to name or draw organic compounds having one functional group. The first of the hydrocarbon derivatives we'll discuss are called alcohols, identified by the suffix al as in methanol and ethanol. Alcohols contain one or more hydroxyl groups. The OH is the functional group for alcohols. Don't confuse this with the hydroxide ion, which forms ionic bonds with positively charged ions. The hydroxyl group forms covalent bonds with hydrocarbons. Even though the short chain alcohols are soluble in water due to the hydroxyl group making the hydrocarbon polar, the longer chains are less water soluble and are therefore good solvents for other nonpolar compounds. Their interaction with other materials makes alcohols a suitable precursor for the synthesis of other organic compounds. All alcohols are toxic, even the short alcohols, methanol, which can cause blindness and death, and ethanol, which if sufficiently consumed can cause respiratory arrest and death. Naming alcohols involves first naming the longest alkane chain bearing the hydroxyl group. The suffix, as mentioned earlier, is ol, and it's positioned in the hydrocarbon chain, that is, the carbon number it's attached to, is indicated in front of the ol, except for cyclic or aromatic compounds containing the one alcohol. The carbon containing the hydroxyl group is assumed to be carbon number one and is not indicated. For example, this is not written as cyclobutan one ol, but cyclobutanol. As always, make sure you number the carbons so that the carbon number one is nearest the functional group. If there are multiple hydroxyl groups along the chain, change the suffix to diol for two alcohols or triol for three, etc. 
adding in the carbon number attaching each hydroxyl group. For example, propane-2,2-diol. If the suffix begins with a vowel, drop the E at the end of the parent alkane. Rather than propane-2-ol, it's propan-2-ol. Name and number the alkyl side groups as before.